Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. If you're new to BIM 360 design, you may be wondering why when you sync with Central, you don't see the changes in BIM 360 docs right away. I mean, after all, it's all the same platform, right? Shouldn't you see the updated files or the updated changes as soon as you, as soon as you sync? Well, hopefully over the next few minutes, I'll demystify that for you and explain to you what's going on. So let me start by opening um, a model that's in BIM 360, that's in the cloud, that has been set up for collaboration with BIM 360 design. I'll browse to it. Bear with me while I browse through the BIM 360 project structure here. And we'll see that it's located in the arc or arch folder of the project. I'll go ahead and open that up. So this model has been published to BIM 360 Design. You know, just uh, if, you've, if you've learned how that works, it's through the Collaborate tab. You'll notice it says Synchronize with Central right now. Um, so this is set up for BIM 360 Design collaboration. Let me switch over to BIM 360 Design just to show you what's going on here. So I'll switch into Design Collaboration. And here's that architectural team, team folder, and the project model. So you can see it's the same, it's the same model. Okay. Now, as you know, because um, BIM 360 Design shares a platform with BIM 360 Docs, I can also access that project on document management. So let's say I'm uh, participating in the project, but I'm not a full-on Revit user. I just want to be able to see the model um, and, and just view it. So, and I know that it's all the same, all the same platform. So I can just browse to that same location over here in BIM 360 Document Management and go to Project Files in the Arch folder, and there's that same Revit model. So, if I click on this, I should see whatever the last sync is, right? Because isn't it showing the most updated version? And the answer to that is no. So let me let me go back to Revit and just kind of walk you through what's going on. I'm going to make a silly change to this model, something that's going to be really obvious. I'm just going to draw some walls out here in the in the yard. I am not a Revit user, so don't make fun of my Revit skills. I'm sure I'm making some of you uh, Revit users cringe a bit. All right, so it's not pretty, but it's obvious, and that's what I'm going for. So great, I've made a change. I'm going to sync that with central. And everything should be good. OK. So I should be able to go back to BIM 360, right, and see that change reflected here. So if you noticed before, this was version 10 before May 3rd, 2019. Today happens to be May. Hmm, let me see what what is today's date. Pull out my trusty phone, see what today's date is. It's May 6th. So the last time I updated this this version of the file was a few days ago. So I'll even refresh the browser and no change. Now, just like anything else on this page or any of the videos that I record, I'm sharing this with you because I went through the same thing myself. I synced with Central. I came back here. I expected to see the file update as well. Um, obviously, it's not. So what's going on? Well, it turns out that when you sync with Central, that kind of happens in a, in a hidden location. So you and the other people that are collaborating with you in Revit are tapping into kind of a different location unique to BIM 360 design collaboration. Okay, And that doesn't necessarily mean that those changes are being reflected here. In fact, they're not. In order for the changes to be reflected here, you need to publish that model to BIM 360. Okay? And um, I, could, I could wait here all day and refresh the page as many times as I want. I'm not going to see a change here with the version or the, or the last updated. Or if I were to view the model, uh, I'm not going to see those silly walls that I just drew out, out in the front yard. All right, we'll check for them here to make sure they're not there. Yep, you can see no silly walls. So to make that happen, uh, there's a couple of ways I can do it. If I am actually 
And, and let me restate that. Depending on what your role is in the project, there are multiple ways to do it, but you may not necessarily be able to do them. So if you're not a Revit user, right, you're just, uh, you're just a stakeholder in the project. You just want to look in and check on the model and see what's going on. What's the latest? How, how far along is the design team? In order, be, in order for you to be able to see those changes here, you're going to have to ask a Revit user to, to publish the latest model to BIM 360. Or you need to ask somebody who has access to BIM 360 design to go to design collaboration and update to latest, which is the same thing as publishing the latest model to BIM 360. Okay, so one of those two. So I'll show you how it works in Revit. Here it's simple, just update to latest. But in Revit, um, there's a couple of ways I can do this. From the main uh, Revit UI here, I can go to manage cloud models and I'll go into my project, which is Project Cygnus. This is kind of the old way of doing it. So here's my model the architectural one and you'll see that there's uh, the icon here is a little different than the others so this one has a green check mark which means the latest version has been published this one also latest version has, has been published but this one actually is not the latest and I have the opportunity to do that here I can just click this icon and it'll publish the latest version up to BIM 360 another place I can do this is from the home screen so on the home screen, notice I can uh, browse my BIM 360 environment here. You know, choose my account, choose my project. So I'll go down here to Project Cygnus. And this is new to Revit. Go to Project Files just like we did before. Go to my Arch folder. And there's my Work Shared Cloud model right there. I can check the box and click Publish. So I'll actually do do it for this one. So it's publishing this to the cloud. It'll take a little time. So you can see it's processing right now. All right, latest has been published. So now let's go back to BIM 360 and see what's happened there. So it says it's updating. And actually, let me switch back to document management. So the latest data has been published up to BIM 360, but now BIM 360 has to process that information as well to make it viewable in that environment. So there's a little bit of time on both ends. You can see the spinning circle here. We've bumped up to version 11, so that's a good sign. There's today's recent date and time. So so far, so good. It's looking like this may be working. And now we just have to wait for the, the spinning circle here to, uh, to finish its job, and we'll be able to view the model. All right, looks like it's all done. Let's check it out. And you can see my silly walls out there in the yard, right where I put them. So there you have it. Hopefully that explains to you why when you sync with Central, you're not seeing your changes immediately in BIM 360. You have to publish those changes, and that is a deliberate act by you or by someone else in the project who has the, the right technology and the rights to do it. I hope you found this useful. Please keep checking back on BIM360Basics.com for more tutorials, tips, and tricks.